it's more XL fun for you guys. This time, it's the Delta Flyer. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Edelmoss Hero Collector sold to us by yeah, Master Replicas. This is, there's only a few of the, the major ones I need and there's a, not many of the XLs, but this is the Delta Flyer. This is a very small ship. This is the XL version. This was number 24 of the XL series. I'm surprised it didn't have, have the different logo on there, but it's definitely the XL because of the size of this thing. Usual Edelmoss stuff artwork on the side now here we go does it have a book or not now most of these that come in come in sealed this one was sealed but there was two of the stickers on so i'm kind of guessing this has already been opened and whoever's took the magazine ah, ha, ha, no it hasn't so we have a magazine so we don't do this very often so let's have a look at the book <sighs> right so so delta flyer was obviously in voyager we remember that all, don't we? So, it was launched in 2275 by Tom Paris and Harry Kim. It was actually designed by them, but he, Tom Paris kind of thought it was his little ship anyway. Great! So, it's, I do like this, and I have seen people do the reviews on this XL already. This is why I've bought this, because this is meant to look absolutely brilliant as a larger ship. It's a small scale shuttle. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, small auxiliary craft. Yeah, they needed to figure out, well, they should have figured out easily enough with the how to design a shuttlecraft. They did that in, in Prodigy, by they actually had a, a huge, massive replicator to make shuttle shuttlecraft with. So, yeah, that's nice enough. Nice to actually see a magazine, to be honest. But lately, with the um, Master Replica stuff, a lot of the stuff that's come from Edel Moss, yes, there's been distributors for the magazine, yes, the ones for the models. So it's, it's and now with the late, last few of the XLs, it's hit and miss whether or not you get any or not. That's very borgified. That's more on what the ship is. Very nice, though. Lots of design work on there. That's quite a big ship. Say it's a shuttlecraft. And say it's the size of the shuttle bay on the back end of Voyager. This really shouldn't have fitted. Hmm. But hey, look like there's quite a bit of potential Borg technology on there. I do, I don't, but I do remember the episode where they um, brought it in. But this is one thing that they, sh they, they failed. Failed bloody miserably on, on, on Voyager to do. Is the Aero Wing. The Aero Shuttle, well, it, it's literally there. It's the captain's yacht. We didn't see that the um, Cousteau from, from Next Generation. There's an animation on YouTube. Go find it. Somebody did that for Voyager. It's absolutely brilliant. It, 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 you can see it on the bottom of the ship, but they failed to do that, and it would have been a really good shuttlecraft. Mm. Well, the Delta Fly was quite a nice ship anyway. And, yep, there we go. Right, so, let's get rid of that because I want to open this. I actually have seen somebody do this model review before. Can't remember who, but it's meant to be really, really good. Oh, I mean, like, I've got the Equinox. The Equinox, I was like, eh, maybe, but it was really good ship, that one. As well as the Old Birth class. Wish they'd have done, oh, this is huge. Wish they'd have done the, um, the Grissom instead. Wow, that is ridiculously big. Right, so bingo time. Who's got the number? 2944A slash A. So still a first run copy. I am not putting on the stand, and that's a big ruddy stand. That's probably going to go on the back. Looks like it, it... Oh, I'd hate these. I don't display these. I put them away safely, but I don't know whether or not that'd be good to no i hate i hate the stands one day i will display all of these honestly i don't know who to but i will display them one day look at the size of that i mean the, the, obviously the, the smaller one is i always measure it to my hand and, and this literally is way bigger oh i'm definitely glad i bought this one 
I mean, the, the, the bus art collector parts on there, they're obviously built into it, very much like a, quite a few of the starships that we had. Oh, was it the, um, the Kira class? Didn't that have built-in warp nacelles? Because they're always sort of detached, but then they decide to put more into... Is it the Akira? I think the Akira is actually available soon on Master Replicas. They did it. This won't make sense to anybody because it'll already have gone, but they did actually have the Akira for... Actually, the Akira was at the back, right? There's a few that I've got built in from the Battle of Wolf 359 fleet. But yeah, they, they, they removed it from a flash drop from the, from yesterday. For me filming this, this won't be for you guys, but then they're adding it onto the Fridays, which also won't help you guys. So this is probably gonna be published next week. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. So yeah, it's fine. So let's go over the bottom. Reminds me a little bit for some reason of a dolphin. That was like the landing gear leg there. Another two over here. Transport emitters look like those. Rear hatch upside down, obviously. And all the sensor pods and a, a strange cowling for thrusters. If the thrusters are on the top and the bottom, that gives a, a, probably a lot more better maneuverability to get this thing around. Not sure if the, the technology is probably the Borg there, potentially. Thruster packs on the back. Warp cells, which are actually fully clear and I, oh, I have seen somebody light this up mm. I've always wanted to do that this with a um, oh nice phaser bank there very nice a little closer with the phaser bank yeah yo yeah, that's not too good now I've seen somebody do this on a with being fully lit up and it looks really really good the, the basicness of this ship makes it look really really good obviously we're getting quite close in so the paintwork's not perfect. Let's go sidewards. Very tiny navigational deflector on the front of there. Very much Voyager-esque cockpit, which is all black, all different sort of shaped windows, which is really odd. Going on to the top. More transport emitters? Don't know, maybe not. And the back end, that's that's probably what lets it down, but this is probably this is one of the metal parts. It looks a bit too um smooth. There's no detail on there. It's like the paint's too thick, but it's not. It's just the the actual application on metal. 74656. Scooch round. It is really, really nice, this ship. But like I said, the basicness is really good. That you can... It, it gives it more realistic by being... Basic. Got the um, the Delta Flyer there, same as what the oh the Copernicus and the Galileo had on the original 1701 Enterprise. You can't call it original Enterprise anymore, can you? Not with the uh, NX class. Never actually. Um, what's that there? Hmm. Never actually. Um, yeah, named. I think it was Shuttle Pod One and Two from the NX class. Really, really nice. Coming down here, so look at the back end on this. Cool. Let's come out a little bit. And have we got the red light on here? Because we have a green light on this corner here. Have we done? Yep, well done. So that's your navigation port and starboard lights done. Nice that they actually put that onto here properly. I mean, I suppose you could easily sand these down, put paint in the same colour as that and put landing legs on there so it would come in properly for a land and then done. But I do like that. That is really, really good. There's some of these XL models. I do... I, I have most of the models. That There's 99 point quite a lot percent of the models for the Star Trek collection that I've actually got. And I'm, I, I am waiting the, um, the ones. I think I'm actually, at present... If you actually want to see my full list, I have a Discord channel and I've put a list on there of ones that I've bought, ones that I'm waiting and ones that have already arrived. And there are only 10 of the XLs I need and that's it for the entire Star Trek collection. And I mean that 
all of the Star Trek collection, all the bonuses, the specials, the rarities, the very rare, even some extra ones I've put in there, like my um, my Discovery Prize. Um, oh, did you, did this, not this, this go, yeah, the Dis Discovery Prize Mirror Universe one that I made myself. So, but there's other stuff like the Glen, and there's a, there's absolutely everything you think of. But I'm still waiting at present for the very Fry and the Maui to turn up. But that should be any day now. I do like that. That's a really good. That's a big. That's a big ship. That's a. That's a hell of a displayer. I mean, you put this next to the XL Voyager, which I actually don't have. Oh, it's it's, it's bought. It's another one that I'm waiting for it to turn up. So yeah, that was another one that I'd, I'd seen a video on and thought, you know what? I am going to get that. That is definitely a big yes from me to get it. So yeah, I will get all the XLs, I think. But at present, with buying things and and money as it is, I just need ten. But that doesn't include the gold, the XL golds. They are too expensive. If you've got a set of the three XL golds and you don't want them, please get in touch, and I will buy them from you at a reasonable price. <sighs> so there we go. That's the Delta Flyer from Voyager. So in that case, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Consider being a Patreon to help me out on the channel because this is really difficult to do lately. Consider being a donator to... Yeah, donate a XL Enterprise. Whichever one you want. The, um, the standard, no bloody A, B, C, the D and the E. Yeah, I'd love it, the, the Enterprise A. Yeah. Mm. Right, so anyway, enough waffling. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.